Be second grade teacher. School's in a low income, high crime neighborhood. One of my kids often gets picked up by his grandpa. Grandpa's an OG who used to be a gangbanger in the 80s, spent some time in prison, and got his shit together. He's big and scary looking, but super fucking nice. Leave the school after working late one day. Some dudes walk up to me and ask what time it is. Look down at my watch and one of them sucker punches me. Try to fight back, but it's three on one. Get my watch, phone, and wallet taken. Next day during dismissal, student's grandpa notices bruises, asks what the hell happened. Oh, I got jumped by some guys on my way home. He asks what they looked like. I don't know, but I remember they drove away in a white Camaro. He nods and says, okay. About a week later, student comes back and hands me a plastic bag from his backpack. Inside is my phone, wallet, and watch? See a news report a few months later about a white Camaro found at the bottom of a nearby lake. Owner is still missing. I just got released from prison. Four years. I robbed a fucking bank, but pled down to aggravated assault. Money's gone. Fucking die packs. Oh well, could have been 20, so no complaints. Now what do I do? Drive a truck? Here's what you do. Start YouTube channel. Your very first video is going to be you sitting in front of a high quality camera looking presentable. Half the screen is going to show a video game. Tile the YouTube video, real bank robber critiques GTA 5 bank heist mission. You're going to commentate over the GTA 5 intro and say shit like, yeah, that's pretty realistic, they'd have alarms like that. Pause the cutscene every now and then and say some shit like, back when I hit the bank, the cops were on us much quicker than this, so I'm not sure this is entirely accurate. Your next videos are going to be you critiquing similar scenes from other games or movies. Then your videos are going to be Q&A about prison life. Before you know it, you're at 350k subs and growing and all you do is talk into a camera about prison. Enjoy making more money than all of us. Be me. Smoke a joint with an old friend I hadn't seen in years. After we finish, he eats a roach. What the fuck? He explains to me that it gets you 10 times higher. My face when I remember that 12 years ago I told him that fact is a joke. My face when he's been eating roaches for 12 years. Got my brother's spare key because we live a walking distance away. We buy the same kind of bread because that's the same one we had at home. He's a man of schedule. Goes shopping the same day every week. He goes on the same walk at the same time of day every day. Always hated how irregular my habits are. Decide to be a shithead for no reason. Get a bag of bread on the same day he's gone shopping. Toast the entire thing and put it back in the bag. Wait until it's time for brother's walk? Take my bag of toast and sneak in with my keys. Know where he keeps his bread. Switch the bag of bread with the bag of toast. Toast two slices of bread to make the whole house smell like toast. Escape once they're done. Make sure I left no mark in the house. Touch nothing. Make it to home. Start gaming. 25 minutes later, I get a text. I don't know how or why you've done this, but I will fucking end you. Be me. I'm 17. I'm pretty stupid and broke, so decide to sell fake drugs. Start filling a few bags with oregano and selling to freshmen. Kids actually believe it's weed and buy some. My face when they fake being high and then come back to buy more. One day, call up the principal's office. There's a cop in there. They ask to search my bag. My face when all they find is oregano. My face when I say I'm making pasta after school and my friend gave me some oregano he grew to use. My face when they can't do anything, so they send me back to class. Be me. Friend invites me out for drinks. I have work in the morning. Fuck it. Get plastered. Wake up for work next day. Still very drunk. Here we go, dot PNG. Somehow make it to work in one piece. Anon, what's up? Good, and you? Awkward silence. Suddenly I have a bright idea. Decide to power nap in storage closet to sober up. Set alarm on phone for 30 minutes. Wake up 10 hours later, hungover. Slept through my alarm. Shit, dot JPEG. Think I'm gonna be fired. Fuck it. Time to go home. Boss sees me on the way out. Wow, Anon, you look beat. Thanks for staying late today. I appreciate it. Talks to me about a possible promotion. My face when work is easy. Go to McDonald's. Yeah, can I get a cheeseburger? Wagey just flat out says, no. Shocked by his answer. Don't know what to say, so I do a second take before I insist on ordering. Suddenly, I get struck from behind and knocked to the ground. Managed to get a glimpse of who did it. I see an elderly Chinese man with a cane in one hand and a service revolver in the other. 
Ah, shit, not again, dot JPEG. The way she jumps the counter and also points a gun at me, and a bunch of armed and well-dressed men arrive and cordon off the entrance. I recognize them as the elderly Chinese man's triad underlings. What kind of a fucking McDonald's is this? The Weiji begins to speak, but the elderly Chinese man shushes him with a raise of his hand and pokes me with his cane with the other. The kind where you defeat us in Mahjong or get banished to the land of the Yi, our term for barbarians, for eternity. Not really cringe, but I have a story from a friend about missing social cues. Walking around town late at night, reach a guy sitting on the sidewalk. He asks me for money. Sorry, man, I don't have any money. I have a knife. Nah, that's okay, man. I don't need a knife. Walk away. Don't realize I was getting robbed until later that night. Live in a bad part of town. Work at a grocery store. Always give hobos the food the store wants to throw out. On cold days, I make a big jug of coffee and hand it out to them. No one ever asks me for cash because they know I'm broke. I'm known as the sandwich man because I usually make sandwiches for them. Last year, got mugged walking back home. Five seconds after being confronted, I hear, Hey, yo, get away from the sandwich man! Four or five homeless guys run to me from half a block away, yelling at the mugger to get away from me despite him having a knife. He ran off after they came and they chased after him. Follow and there was like 10 of them gathered around and he was pinned to the ground. One called the police and they arrested the guy. Was told, if anyone fucks with you sandwich man, we got your back. My face when I basically have a street gang by giving away day old sandwich meat and bread I am told to throw in the trash. Be me. Get chased by a group of men in suits. I run. Really hard to outrun them, but I manage. I get tired and they keep inching closer. Oh fuck, dot WMV. Good idea. I shave my head. Instant speed boost because of aerodynamics. Distance gets greater. They start screaming. You can't keep running away. Someday we tax collectors catch you. Image related. I'm Jeff Bezos. Be me. Be in fifth grade. Class is planning field trip. Need money. Everyone needs to bring $20. Go home. Ask mom for $30 so I can have $10 extra for myself. Mom doesn't believe me. Goes to friend's house who lives on the same street. Oh shit, dot gif. Comes back angry, saying I need to pay more attention in class meetings. The face when I found out my friend told his parents that he needed $50. Roommate asked me to drive him to his dealer. Sure, I have nothing going on. Get in, start the car, put on seatbelt. Notice roommate doesn't have his seatbelt on. Ask him to put it on. Why? Aren't you a good driver? Tell him it's my car and I want him to have his seatbelt on. Oh, fuck you, man. Just drive. Okay. Get on the road. Accelerate to 40 miles per hour. Slam on the brakes. Roommate flies out of his seat. His face hits the windshield. Ah, shit. Sorry, bro. Maybe you should put your fucking seatbelt on. He does. I turn the car around and drive us back home. Fucking bundle of sticks can walk to his dealers now. Wear your seatbelts. B girl. Middle school, early 2000s. Walking to class. See some short kid getting shoved into the locker. Tiny little Hispanic kid and his two goons are harassing this kid for lunch money. Is this real life? Take the little Hispanic kid and put him in a chicken hold. Tell him if he touches this kid again, I'll beat his face into the locker so hard his parents won't be able to recognize him. He calls his goons off, runs away. Short kid follows me around for the rest of the school year, carrying my books and taking care of my Tamagotchi and letting me use his head as an armrest. A couple years ago, I looked him up on Facebook and found he publicly joined a muscle girl appreciation group. Be me. Walking home one night, mugger comes out of nowhere. Give me your wallet. Unload my FN57 on him instead. Realize that I used 20 rounds of 5.7 by 28 millimeter ammo. My face when it would have been cheaper to just hand over the wallet. Be me. Flat earther. Friend works at NASA. Gives me a ticket to go to outer space. He said it'll change my views. Don't believe him, dot PNG. Go to outer space. See that the earth is around? What the fuck, man, dot JPEG? This can't be real. Realize NASA must have hacked my eyes. Have spider bro. Eats random bugs and shit in my kitchen. Once killed a mouse. We live happily together for a few months. One night, go to bars and pick up girl. Bring girl home. End up heading to my bedroom. Spider bro is on wall. Girl screams. Runs home. 
get so angry, I kill Spider-Bro for denying me my needs. Find out from friend a couple days later that the girl had herpes. Spider-Bro knew! Sadface.jpg Be me. Dispatch manager for a small company. Bunch of 18 year olds start working in the shipping department. Start using the most current memes, Yi, e, Ligma, etc. Just general shit from 4chan and Reddit to see if they get it. Kids get really into it. Everything is a meme to them. Boss walks in the dispatch room just as I chuck some packing tape to one of the kids screaming yeet as I do it. Boss takes one look at me and says, Looks like you got a case of up dog. One of the kids replies, What's up dog? My face when my boss is the biggest memer in the office. Be me. I want to talk about some politics. Go to poll. Jewish people and minorities are the cause of the world's issues. What the fuck? JPEG? Go to Twitter. All white people are inherently racist and homophobic. What the fuck? That's not true. Go to Reddit. Communism has never failed. Have you people taken a single history class? Go to Facebook. If I see another sheep wearing a mask, I'm gonna gun them down. Huh? What happened to normal political views? First time in gym. My very first exercise is bench. Next to me are some zoomers. This dude looks like he sits behind a computer 24-7. About to cry. Make up some bullshit like I'm thirsty and go to the toilet so I can pack and leave. Some dude stops me and says if he can use the bench. It's motherfucking Chad, just like from the memes. Say, yeah? Ask if I'll spot him. Uh, okay. We start to talk. He notices I'm a first timer in the gym. He teaches me lifts. We talk for an hour and for this whole hour, it feels like I'm safe and protected. My face when this Chad says, See you tomorrow, okay? I have leg day and I'll teach you deadlifts. Is this how Chads are? Is this how it feels to die for King? It felt like a dream, but it was all real. My King, my liege, we will make it. Talk with this girl on Discord. We met on an R9K thread. We message each other a lot over the next couple of days, starting to open up to her more. Sister has to go to the hospital, so I help my parents watch her kids. Didn't have much time to chat on Discord? Nephews grab my phone every chance they get. Let her know why. She acts concerned and tells me it's cool. I was ghost of a four, so I didn't want her to think that I wasn't interested in her anymore. Four days later, finally have free time. Message her. No response. No big deal. Maybe she's busy with work. Two days later, send her another message. Hey, hadn't heard from you in a while. You doing good? No response. Hear back from her. Tells me she wants to meet at the park. Go there. See no one there. Get hit from behind and knocked to the ground. Turn around. Culprit is an elderly Chinese man. Oh, fuck no, dot JPEG. Forces me at gunpoint to play Mahjong and defeat him or he will banish me to the land of the Yi, the term for barbarians, forever. Got back from weird Valentine's date. Be me, 5'4", 103 pound straight guy. Forever alone in friend zone because of my size. 6'4", Barrett work says he'll take me out for dinner because he can tell I'm down. Fast forward, end of night, I'm sucking his dick and he's telling me how hot I am. Never in life been told I'm hot. Fuck it. I guess I'm gay now. Be me. 21. Super straight male. Get horny one night and decide to go use the local glory hole. Actually kind of enjoy it. Halfway through, person on the other side moans. It's a guy's moan. Realize I've been sucking a man's cock this entire time. My face when? Be me. Playing video games on a Sunday night. Comfy as hell. Very invested in game. See a light coming through my window. Oh shit, I stayed up all night playing video games. Panicking as I think about another exhausting day at work. Look out window. Turns out that it's just the mushroom cloud from a nuclear warhead. Crisis averted, .exe.